everybody, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to all kind of creative content, DIY projects and room makeovers. And actually at the moment I am in my home, mobile home that we are renovating. If you want to see my mobile home renovation, then I will link the uh, playlist here above and you can watch episode one, two, three and the rest will follow in the upcoming weeks. So the project today is a trash to treasure DIY. I bought on Facebook marketplace um, a, a little cabinet, a wooden cabinet. It's not very special in design or how it looks. Uh, the size is just convenient for me and the space I needed. And because it's of, made of wood, it's easy to uh, remodel, to uh, paint and to make it, uh, give it a fresh design. So let's have a look how it looked before and what I like about it and uh, how I transformed it in a really nice, cute little cabinet that looks really gorgeous in our mobile home add-on room and how I styled it, you will see at the end, of course. So I'm really curious if you like the color I chose and the result of it, uh, or if you would have done it any different. Please let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe, please, please, please. I'm really working hard to grow this channel, to make more creative content and dedicate more time to this uh, YouTube channel. So it would be really fantastic if you subscribe and um, give it a like. Thank you. <laughs> So this is the cabinet um, when I bought it. We uh, bought it at Facebook Marketplace for about 15 euros. I like that it's wood and I like the rattan doors. And I have an idea how I want to transform it in something special. So for sanding I first use an 80 grit and then a, where is it? Uh, 180 grit uh, sandpaper so that it's smooth and uh, fresh. The cabinet is ready to be um, painted with a primer and then I will reveal the color I will paint. I will use this color. Um, it's a bit of rusty color. Maybe you see it better like this. I think it will be really nice with the cane or oh, it's not cane, with a rattan and at the later moment I try to uh, make this, to bleach this rattan, to make it a bit lighter. It's an experiment, I don't know if it works, so I take you with me. So the weather is really astonishing. Five minutes ago it was a storm and now we have sunshine again. So I was really in love with the color when I bought it, but after the first layer it was much much lighter than on the sample, so I was a bit disappointed about it. So I had to do three layers of paint till the color was at the right depth and um, I really like it at the end. Thank you. 
So at first I thought I want to reuse the old doorknobs, so I sanded them and I painted them in a the dark grey. But later on I changed my mind, you will see. So I started to um, take some action on the rattan and um, I want to make it a bit lighter because this part is darker than this one and in, in the totality I think it's for my taste a bit too dark. Also a combination with the color of the paint. So what I use is water and a bit of bleach and I um, put it on with a rag. So it sucks the bleach water into the rattan and I hope, <laughs> I have no idea if this works, this is just my uh, little chemical experiment, um, I hope it gets a bit lighter. It is not something that goes very fast of course, it has to soak it up, that's why I have to go a few times over it with the wet uh, cloth so that it soaks it up and slowly slowly it gets lighter. For my feeling it's already a bit lighter, I'm busy already for five minutes and uh, I hope my experiment will work. I'm so happy I can finally use this rug. I found it at a vintage market uh, some months ago. I will link above the video of that vlog. Um, I had to figure out which way is the best to put it down and uh, which way it fits the best in the room. At home I found some matching um, doorknobs that are just a bit cuter and spe more special, so I changed them and I'm very happy I did this. Thank you for watching really great that you watched till the end fantastic if you like this video give it a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye bye